What's going on guys? We're back with another video. Just another little quick vlog. And today, I'm gonna be learning how to do a little bit of TIG weld. There we go. As you guys know, a couple months ago I bought a TIG welder, right? Um, actually, right before we were going to uh, Dino's Get Down. And I needed this TIG welder because I wanna get into uh, a lot of the specialty stuff, which, you know, exhaust, custom brackets, um, etc. right? Things that require TIG. And as you guys know, TIG is one of those, uh, you know, skill uh, well, type of welds, right? You, you, you have to do it, you have to continue to practice, and it takes some people a very long time to master. So, uh, let's give it a go. Let's uh, put it together and see uh, how good or how bad we are from the, the, the beginning. So I do wanna be transparent. I've never done this in my life, TIGging. Um, some people are like, listen, Cisco, you got it. Um, it's, it's not that bad. And then, you know, and then I watch videos and I'm like, holy crap, this, is, this isn't good. So we're gonna learn together. And I'm gonna let you guys know how I run my settings, uh, not really knowing too much. Um, I do have some practice coupons, 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 whatever, um, where uh, they will allow me to um, practice some. Then I got me some tungsten and then two pounds of filler rod. So that's, that's really what we're doing today. And then, um, yeah, let's do it. I don't know if you guys know, um, but if, you, if you've been watching a lot of my, my channel, my videos, you guys know I am a huge Harbor Freight guy. Harbor Freight, so Harbor Freight had a deal for this uh, welding cart. It's about 100 pound capacity. Should be good for the tank and the, and the TIG welder. Um, I think I got it for like 32 bucks. Normally they're like 50 something, $60. So it's a great deal. I think they're gonna um, discontinue these and come out with a new, a new, a new, um, a new brand. However, I do have, you know, have it over there behind the chair where my MIG and flex core welders are. I do like them, I do enjoy them. So I decided to buy a new one and let me put that together. Here we go. Here we go, like nothing too important. You guys have seen one of these built before. This is just time consuming. So let's get the argon and let's strap it down and let's get that, uh, <coughs> the, um, the welder itself. Everybody's been asking me like, dude, when are you gonna fire that thing up? And I'm like, man, I've just been so busy with work and side projects and, and all that good stuff. I hope, I hope this 100 pound can can uh, can take it. Cause I think this is like 44 pounds or something like that. Plus a tank, it's kind of pushing it. But we're gonna find out right now. Okay, I don't think it'll, all right, so here we go, yeah, I think it's fine, I don't think it's going to go anywhere from there, it's pretty sturdy, okay, I might have to strap it down just because you never know, I got an extra strap there, Boom. so pretty much right on point, kind of fits I don't think that's the right one but hey we're gonna we're gonna go with it here we go baby here we go so it looks like everything fits everything fits everything moves you know 
gonna have to be careful when transporting it but I think we're good but I think we're we're good nothing looks lopsided everything looks pretty good pretty much have it all set up here we're gonna put the gas valve in there and then set up the gas line <clears throat> uh, right now and then we'll we'll go from there sick so we have pretty much all all of it set up now got your gas got the valve um, what else we got the ground the foot pedal I'm gonna be learning to the foot pedal I feel like you might have a little more control with the foot pedal at first and then the torch so right now what I got to do is figure out cup sizing and all that other stuff and um, <clears throat> I know a little bit about it it comes with a th uh, 330 seconds uh, let me see yeah uh, uh, tungsten but I bought a 1 16th tungsten so let's bust that out and we can go from so, there just like everything I've ever done else in my life I looked up a video on beginning TIG welding so look I ain't bullshitting beginning beginner TIG welding settings so uh, in order for you know me to kind of figure it out and kind of get like a base start I'm gonna see how to even operate all this stuff I don't know pulsing and everything but I'm pretty sure there's got to be a step one or a basic level one, right? So here we go. I want to answer the most common question that I Let me tell you guys, this is addictive. Um, yesterday, you know, when I first started, I started with this one and, you know, so you guys can tell, it doesn't look good. I think this, oh, never mind. I think this is the, uh, okay, yeah. Not really good. Then down here, you know, last night again, it wasn't the best. And then today, I was like, you know what, let's get back on the horse. And um, this is today. So not exactly perfect or any by any stretch of the, you know, by the imagination, good at all. But, you know, just messing with it, figuring out, I burnt, burnt through. Um, you can see a little improvement from garbage to, still garbage, but little less garbage so I am super like addicted to this right now so not too bad not too bad right for maybe total of 15 20 minutes seat time ever so gonna try to get it nice and I'm still not comfortable I don't have the chair that I want and I'm like getting stuck, but <clears throat> definitely uh, this is fun. So that was it, guys. You know, I'm not afraid to expose myself and put myself out there. And, uh, you know, if I can do this, you guys can definitely do this. So this is only the beginning of me learning how to TIG. And uh, I want to get to the point where obviously stainless so I can do the exhausts and, you know, stuff like that. The MIG stuff, the flux stuff, you know, I'm I'm okay at it. You know, I'm not a professional, but I'm I'm definitely okay. This I'm the whole new world. But with practice makes excellence, and hopefully I've motivated some of you guys to go out and try. I'm a complete noob at this. Um, I did invest. I this machine is just awesome. The Prime Weld, and I'm pretty sure I'm not even touching two percent of its actual. Um, capabilities so sorry I spit there but I'm pretty sure I'm not even touching 2% of this wonderful machines capabilities so now I got to finish a couple work project and then I'll get back to this a little later um, it's like I said super addictive so um, I'm gonna get it I'm gonna I'm going to uh, get it and then this is thinner stuff so yeah guys get on it